fascinating. This kind of coral only grows in the water close to the beach. What a nice colour and... <coughs> no! Shark! Sorry, dude! It's a lemon shark. That was so totally my fault. Really sorry. Bye! I hit my nose again! Let me see that. My name's Peso. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt, no matter what. I'm Lemmy. I could use some help. <sighs> Your nose is pretty bruised. Do you live around here? Yeah, think so. Maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I've been looking everywhere for my lagoon. It's a beautiful place with shallow water near the beach. Is that where you live? Yeah, all of us lemon sharks hang out there. I've never had any problem finding my way home before. I just don't know why I keep getting lost. Lemmy, like all sharks, uses his nose to find his way around. He has special sensors that help him know which way to go. The sensors on your nose are hurt, so it isn't working right now. And that's why I keep getting lost. My nose doesn't know where to go, but how do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go. Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. <sighs> OK, but do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, but then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flapperty flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, quasi into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, cat. Ah, there he is. This is a fast one, that's for sure. Whoa. Heading that way. Oops, sorry. Go, oh, watch out. Where's that speedy lemon shark going now? Uh oh, he's swimming towards the beach. Ah, oh, there's Lemmy now. Oh no, he's stuck on the beach. He needs to be in the water to breathe. Help! Someone help me! Hang on, uh, Lemmy. We're coming to save you. I swam too close to the beach. Octonauts, let's do this. 
One, two, three, lift! Ow! This little fella's heavy! I'm sorry. I should have listened to you, Peso. At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay in the octopod. Tell me nose is all better. Then let's all head back to the octopod. And please stay close to the gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lemmy. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lemmy. Oh, me too. Maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. Over here, Peso! Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! No. Ah! Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. Ow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak! You got it, Cap! Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. <laughs> My lemon shark nose is working again. My nose knows where to go. Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the hurt starfish out of there now. Octonauts! In here! <gasps> Captain! Over here! Peso, don't move! Yeah. How do we get him out? We need to be fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. Hey, so! Lemmy! Captain, I've got to help Peso. Lemon sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the sea. And I know I'm fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. You're right there, matey. You're faster than any of us. What about your sense of direction? My nose is all better. Trust me. All right, Lemmy. Go in to the left. Now to the right. Now wait! Go! Whoa, that was exciting! Good work, Lemmy. You're as brave as any octonaut. Absolutely. Thanks for saving me and the Sea Star. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> We're friends, Peso! Peso, it's time to take Lemmy home to his lagoon. Follow me! My nose knows where to go! Well, here's my lagoon! Goodbye, Lemmy. Here's a sticker for being my bravest patient ever. Oh, thanks, Peso! Put it right on my nose, dude! <laughs> Open up and say, ah, ah. 
very good. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Good. Say ah. Uh. Ah. No, not ah. Uh. Just ah. Uh. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Weak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down, keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Whoa! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. Oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oh, you shark! Uh, and you know, see, I'm trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. 
Seriously? Ooh. I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my fin hurts. Mm. I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. Okay, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right oh, Peso. Nice and steady. <laughs> Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, pal. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. <laughs> Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin wrap. <laughs> Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Ah. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Ah. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. <laughs> Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. It's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, ah. keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Junip, come in. Uh, butter? I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Oh, butter, Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. <laughs> Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octoski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. 
Captain Barnacles to Shellington. Find anything interesting in the lagoon? I found something amazing, Captain. A whole school of hammerhead shark pups. Well, be careful. If they're babies, their parents might be nearby. Well, actually, hammerhead parents don't take care of their pups at all. They're on their own from the day they're born. The pups stick together and protect each other until they're old enough to... Oh! Yeah, yeah. Hey, this stingray don't taste right. It don't sound right either. And it's kind of hard to chew. This isn't a stingray, it's a gop. Hey, right here. We ain't done with you yet. Shellington, what's going on? These three hammerhead pups are still learning how to hunt, and the gup confused them. I'm just glad they didn't hurt themselves. <laughs> Back in the water you go. Now, this should be a safe distance to study them from. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! Captain, the hammerheads have all left the lagoon. <gasps> I've got to find out where they're going. They seem to be in a real hurry. It's starting to get dark. And you know what that means. Night time. It's hunting time. Ready? Break! Oh, no. Which way it... Uh, uh, ah. I've got to get out of here before the hammerheads... Oh, get away. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Uh, you won't believe this, but I've crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, and I can't follow the hammerhead pup. I need backup. We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, he was following three hammerhead shark pups. We have to help him. Captain, it looks like he was heading toward the open ocean. That's a dangerous place for hammerhead pups. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Shellington, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but the hammerhead pups are gone. We need to split up to find them and then follow them. Yeah, follow a little baby hammerhead. This'll be easy. Just don't follow too closely, Quasi. They're still very young and the gups may confuse them. Got it. Shellington, you're with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Still no sign of any hammerheads. Wait. Shellington, I think I see one of them. Great. Now, don't let him out of your sight. That shouldn't be hard. He's just nosing along the seabed like he's looking for something. I can't see you, Stingray, but I can smell you under there. Oh, yeah? Smell this! Ah! Oh, no! The hammerhead just got stung by a stingray. Don't worry, Peso. Hammerheads don't mind a stingray sting or two. That won't stop me. No. Nope. How's about them? Go get them, boys. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I've got to help him. Oh. Hello. Don't be afraid. I'm a medic, and I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. One down. A lot more to go. Sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got you right where I want you. Oh. Actually, it looks like I've got you. I got me, octopus. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. 
Ah, take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a... <gasps> tiger shark! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I... Ugh. These little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wily one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. <laughs> you can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there. The third hammerhead. And he's stuck. We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> He's really stuck. We'd better call for backup. There, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother. Captain, we're on our way. <laughs> Come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups could have a good chase, don't they? You're telling me! <laughs> Peso, Quasi, over here! Oh, oh, ouch! This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that... Shark! <gasps> This should give him something to chew on. Oops, oops, oops. Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. Peso, follow me and bring your friend. Quasi, keep that shark busy. Over here, you scurvy shark! Hey! Oh! Ooh, where'd they go? Here! We've got something tasty for ya! <laughs> ah. Now! Aha. Everyone, get back! What's the big idea? He was alone! Hey, what's happening? Uh-oh! Hey! <laughs> Well, I think he got the point. That was so cool. Well done, everyone. Hey, you, don't forget about me. Whoops, sorry about that. Ready, pull! Yeah. Pull! We did it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Not like we needed it or nothing. Hey, we've got to get going. See you around. Wait, we still don't know where you're going. Follow us and we'll show you. What are we waiting for? Let's go! We're in the open ocean now. There's nothing around for hundreds of miles. Where could they be going? A vast, mateys. There's something up ahead. Something big. A sea mount. It's not on any of our maps. Ha! We must be the first to discover it. Actually, I think the Hammerheads beat us to it. Look. So that's where they all went. They must rest here during the day when they're not hunting. Bye. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Good luck, mateys. Bye-bye. Hey, look! A stingray! Yummy, yummy! Whoa! <laughs> this isn't a stingray, it's a gop! <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts, 
Our mission today is to find out what kind of sharks visit this reef. I can't wait to get out there and study them as closely as possible. But not too closely. Sharks can be dangerous. Hi, and that's why I just can't wait to get going and... Clean the gunk off the outside of the gups? What? It's your turn to do gup cleanup duty, Quasi. Ah, what's the big hurry, Captain? They can't be that dirty. Our gups are covered in gunk, and they don't work well when they're dirty. Ah, <sighs> aye, aye. I'll make them ship shape, but I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Um, what about the gup A, Captain? It seems dirty too. Don't worry, Peso. She should be fine for a quick mission. Uh, maybe not. Aha! There she goes. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Okay, I'll get to work. After a quick game of table tennis, come on! Oh, look! There's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm, let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Some might say this is easier for you, Professor Inkling. <laughs> you win. Well done, Quasi. <laughs> I better get back to cleaning those cups. Well, maybe just one more game against all of you. You're, You're on. on. Hmm, no sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. It's a... A sha, sha, sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa. <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. <gasps> Shiver! Whiskers! It's the Gupe having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. You're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, we need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Ready, Tweak? Now, close it! Phew! Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. 
I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> What? <laughs> Who cleaned the cup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the cup and I'm ready for more and more more. You mean, you like cleaning? Like it? I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Mm, delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you were able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? Shark. And his teeth are still dirty, too. Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! Oh, he's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, Pilot Fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the gups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> 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 Can 
connected and ready to go, Cap. Then let's turn on the Octocam and see if it works. Barnacles to Shellington. Is the Octocam working? Yes, Captain. The picture of the hermit crab is coming in nice and clear. No one's explored this part of the ocean before. With this Octocam, we can film the sea creatures who live here. Very good. Barnacles out. Good work, Octonauts. Let's head back to the Octopod. What's that sound? Hmm, nothing, I guess. Outside the gut. Is there anybody out there? Uh, nobody but those tiny, skinny black fishies. The gut probably just needs a checkup, Cap. We'll be home soon, and then you can take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Tunip. These fish biscuits are delicious. Fascinating. How many sea stars are traveling together in this group? Let's see. There's one, two, huh? Oh, come back! Captain! Something's wrong with the Octocam. Let me see what I can do. It's not working. Hmm, that's strange. The Octocam was working perfectly when we left. Yes, can you come on down here? There's something you've just got to see to believe. Check out these three perfectly round holes in the gut. Whoa, what could have made those holes? Uh, not what, Captain? Who? Look at this! A whole set of teeth! Strong enough to take a bite out of the gup. Hmm. First our gup was damaged, and now the octocam isn't working. This smells fishy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's something very wrong with the Octocam. We've got to get back there. I'll have those holes in the gut bay fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Shellington, see if you can work out whose teeth these are while we check on the Octocam. All right, Captain. I wonder what kind of animal would leave their teeth behind like that. Don't worry. I'll get to the tooth. Uh, I mean, truth. <laughs> yeah, this is a mystery, and we've got to solve it. Quasi, Peso, into the gup with me. It's not working all right. Not beeping, nor whirring, nor nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm, who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know. But I wish I didn't. It is none other than the dry toothed terror. The who-toothed water? The tri-toothed terror! A giant sea monster with three huge, sharp teeth! He sneaks up on pirate ships, fights them with his enormous teeth, <coughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the tri-toothed terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the tri-toothed terror. Well, if it isn't the tri-toothed terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me, Eye Patch Crooked. 
<laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah, we've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried tooth terror must be nearby, but where? Oh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. <laughs> Whoa, that was a wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for blubber. Rubber for blubber. We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers. And I have an idea. Barnacles to tweak, we're going to need your help. Hey, Cap, you ordered a big rubber whale balloon? Thanks, Tweak. Let's set it up near the Octocam and then everybody hide. I'm innocent. I wasn't even there. You took bites out of our equipment and broke it. Oh, that. Uh, look, we're, we're cookie cutter sharks. We uh, thought your equipment was food, so we took a nibble. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. But how did you keep hiding from us? Uh, 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 yeah, clamming up, are you? Oh, OK, OK. We'll show you how we do it. Your bellies glow. So when we're looking at them from below, they blend in with the sunlight. And all you see are those black marks that make them look like skinny fish swimming by. So that's why nobody can see you from below. Guess we can't fool you anymore. Nope, nope, no, can't fool absolutely you. Absolutely no fooling you at all. But why did you leave your teeth in our gut? Don't you need them? Our teeth come out in whole rows like that and grow back really quickly. But what about the teeth that disappeared? I put them down, and then they were gone. The teeth disappeared because I ate them. You ate your own teeth? That doesn't sound very healthy. Mm, it is if you're a cookie cutter shark. Our teeth have lots of vitamins in them. So, the mystery is solved. But could you please stop nibbling on our equipment? OK, OK, but we'd really like a snack about now. Oh, Ooh, yeah, oh, I'm like really snack. hungry. Ah, I've got an idea for that. <laughs> this fish biscuit is way better than rubber. Absolutely. Ah, he's not wrong. <laughs> See, Tulip, nobody can resist a bite of your fish biscuits. <laughs> I'm a bit partial myself. You're not the only one. You've <laughs> <laughs> oh, got another. Come in, Quasi. 
Have you collected those seaweed samples? Aye, Captain. And I'm heading back to the octopod right now. Huh? Shiver. Whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out. Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Aha! Get a load of that! A super fast flip turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. <laughs> You're on! Backward roll over with a one and a half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine! You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper flapper! The name's Dina! Quasi! Maybe we'll have a rematch someday! You're on! Well, better get back to my school before they. Uh -oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Good. Not so fast, ye scurvy shark. Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Fast. There they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. Ah! What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina. You go on ahead, or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're OK. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. I'd better call the octopod. What's wrong, Quasi? Well, I hit me head, the gup is trapped, and a little sardine is in danger cos she lost her school. Other than that, everything's fine. Hiya! Sounds like you need a hand. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got an emergency rescue first aid lost sardine situation. Oh, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. Okay, right yeah. oh, Captain. Dashy, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. Fuzzy, your school is here. Hi. You could call them that. How's your head, Quasi? Do you feel dizzy? Sleepy? How many fingers am I holding up? That's a trick question. You don't have any fingers. Great. You don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come in. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. 
Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that way, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. I'm with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. <laughs> The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. Must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. There you go, Quaz. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. That's happy news indeed, Captain. Everything looks good here. See you back at the Octopod. Mmm, breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. That shark looks hungry for sardines. I've got to help them. Oh, no! Uh, uh, um. Hmm, they're swimming in different directions to confuse the shark. Uh-oh, more sharks. Looks like the sardines could use some backup. Calling all gups. Sardines in trouble. <laughs> Octonauts, I don't know if I can hold them off by myself for much longer. You won't need to, Captain. Octonauts, follow the sardines' lead. Swirl and confuse. Over here. Uh, this way. Uh, Catch uh, me if you can. That way. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cancelled. Hooray! Hooray! Quasi, I'm so glad you're okay. And I'm glad you're okay. I guess we both needed our schools to help us. Excuse me. Whale shark! 
Looks like we're just in time. Whale sharks dive down to deep waters only once a day. I can't wait to find out what it does down there. <laughs> He's going down, Captain. Then so are we. Shellington, what are those things? They're krill, Peso. That must be what the whale shark comes down here for. The krill? Yes, they're tiny little shrimp that the whale shark eats. Let's take a closer look. Aye, we'll have to. They're mighty small. We'll use the octogoggles, Quasi. They'll make those tiny krill look big. Activate octogoggles. Flappity flippers. Hmm, fascinating. Whoa! Amazing. Hey, there's something glowing over there. What is that? Flappity flippers! A giant shark! Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wait a minute. My octo goggles. Hey, you're not a gigantic shark. You're tiny. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. But even though I am small and I glow, I'm uh, still a shark, okay? Uh, Oh. Oh. What's wrong? This thing is stuck to my back and I can't get it off. It makes it hard to uh, swim. Don't worry. You've just got a sticky shell stuck to your back. I can help you. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Heads up, Peso. Whale shark coming through. Little shark, where are you? I've got to help him, but first I've got to find him. Captain Barnacles, I just met a tiny little shark and he had a shell on his back. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down there, matey. What did you see, Peso? A shark, a teeny tiny glowing shark. He was hurt and he needed help, but the waves from the big whale shark knocked him way down deep and I don't know where he is. Well then, we'd better find him. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonaut, there's a shark out there who needs our help. Peso, what did the shark look like? Well, he's tiny, about as big as my flipper. I've never heard of a shark that small. Well, sharks do come in all different sizes. Indeed, there are huge whale sharks like the one you follow today, and also much smaller sharks. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacles out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? 
peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh, no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter, and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh. What is that? Wait for me, Captain! <gasps> A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashing. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Huh? Hi, it's working. Hey, so Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. Ah, thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye, me Bye. It's called a dwarf lantern shark. Of course. It wasn't in any of my old books because you're one of the first explorers to find one. This is the smallest shark in the world. A dwarf wow. lantern shark. Well, it just goes to show you, sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Just like octonauts do. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. Ooh, ooh. You 
one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Bye. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just um. Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> and we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Yeah. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! Yeah. 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 Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's going to do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue. <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's... Story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taken forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. <laughs> then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do 
it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <sighs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. Whoa. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. to watch out for really big fish. I'll keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> 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 I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 